Hey guys, it's me Komusan and welcome back to another FNAF Weekly News. We have a lot to cover today like Funko losing the whites to Axe and Figos and Plessies, new mods from U2s and Hex and Jada, plus a brand new description for a brand new FNAF book where the main character is Casey from Wuhan. So let's start off with the Funko news and mods. So Funko has reportedly lost the FNAF Axe and Figure and Plus license to Jazz Wales. It pills product lines unique to Funko such as Pops and Mystery Minis will be released but Jazz Wales Seemingly has the exclusive license to produce action figures and plushies. The FNAF movie pops or reportedly indefinitely delayed due to the licensing switch. So basically, they can't make action figures and plushies anymore, which is very bad. Also, this is FYI, guys. I am not going to be covering anything much related to Jazzwells. They support genocide, and I don't want to talk about that. Uh, it's bad. I don't support genocide. That's my stance on it. But that's very disappointing news with Funko, and uh, I know people complain about Funko's quality lowering, like, over time, but they recently made some amazing ruin figures, but I guess that's gonna be the last ones of those. Now, off to YouTube's. YouTube has teased a box off for the upcoming Mr. Chipple figure releasing for Five Nights at Freddy's 10th anniversary. Well, little tyke, the day has come. Can you imagine a robot thinking he was the real thing? Ha! <laughs> Bleep bloop. Whoa! Excuse me, so... Basically, uh, Mr. Chipple is going to get a figure for the 10th anniversary of Five Nights at Freddy's, which is the reason why Five Nights at Freddy's exists to this day, because people thought Mr. Chipple was like an animatronic and it was scary. So Scott took that idea and made Five Nights at Freddy's. So you can all thank Mr. Chipple and that game for FNAF's creation, which is very cool. Hex has released the upcoming Night Marionette Plus featuring Light Up Eyes, planned for an October release alongside the previous D's short and pin. So we got our first looks at Night Marionette, and oh my god, they are beautiful looking. They that they are actually pretty cute. I would love to have one of these. I'm pretty sure you guys would too. Um, show some images. They are pretty big with their size. I like their hands, like tentacles, like how it is in Help Wanted. And yeah, Help Wanted. I don't think we actually see them have tentacles in uh, FNAF 4 Halloween Edition. But it's very cool and it's very cute looking, and I can't wait for. Uh, more like people to actually have the release of them we also got a first look at the upcoming jada toy metal figure figs of freddy fazbell bonnie chica and foxy revealed at san diego comic con so this is what they look like they look pretty cool bonnie looks a little bit dopey but maybe that's for comic comedic effect but it, they look pretty good i think they're made out of metal like how the name implies metal figs but they look pretty good they look very high quality so that is amazing now I actually have some book news. We have uh, actually a lot of book news. So an official preview for the Five Nights at Freddy's VIP Volume Zero in Celastic's new interactive novel series has been released. Google Books has also issued most common words for the novel. The free ebook releases on August 3rd for the Five Nights at Freddy's 10th anniversary. I actually read it. I thought it was pretty cool. So basically it's a story between this kid and his little brother getting some free tickets to the Pizza Plex and they don't know where they actually came from. Even the people that walk at the Pizza Flicks don't know. So it was a very interesting 18 pages. I think he gave us to read for free. Uh, it, it, the book is going to be free, just FYI. But it gave us a little preview before we actually get the full book. So I enjoyed it. I'll put the link in the description so you guys can actually go read it yourself. It's only like 18 pages or something. So it's not a lot. But it's very interesting. And it's been a while since I actually read a FNAF book. Because I have nowhere to get them at. But pretty cool news. We also have a new description for the Five Nights at Freddy's Sticklepedia, previously titled the Stickle Collection book, has now been released. So, releasing on May 6, 2025. So, 100% collectible sticker book filled with terrifying images from all corners of the Five Nights at Freddy's universe. The most terrifying animatronics, locations, and artifacts from Five Nights at Freddy's are all here on one book, featuring over 100 stickles of blueprints, trivia, and Easter eggs throughout. The first new format is sure to attract Fnat Freddy fans of all ages. Fans can match the stickers to the description of their favorite characters and save the extra stickers for the laptops, notebooks, water bottles, and more. So, the sticker book's coming out like next year at May, which is a long time for a sticker book. I don't know what's taking so long. Maybe the stickers, but I'm looking forward to that. I like the stickers that came with my physical edition of Security Weeds. I haven't touched them at all because collectors, but I really love them. And if they're that quality, that would be very awesome. We also got the Biggest news in my opinion of this week, so we got the official description for Five Nights at Freddy's Escape to Pizza Plex Volume 3 in Celastic's new interactive novel series. Can you survive the Pizza Plex? Find out the interactive novel in which you decide what happens. This is releasing on May 6, 2025, so the same day as the sticker book, ironically. 
we live the newest, biggest Five Nights at Freddy's location in the setting of the Smash Security Breach game in an all new interactive novel. You are Casey, a young girl trapped in Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex, chased by the terrifying animatronics as well as the Night Guards. You got to do whatever you can make it out alive. Can you escape or will it be game over before dawn? So, we got some crazy news. So, new for that book where we play as Casey. I'm not sure if this is going ruin because we don't get chased by Night Guards in ruin. It's all animatronics. So, this is very interesting. Maybe she like fell asleep at the daycare or something. Because there was some mystery before and her father going missing and the map bot. So this is this could answer some answers if it's canon. It most likely is. Because some books are canon, some books aren't. It's very confusing. They said literally just stated if it's canon or not. But you never know with the FNAF books. But very cool. I loved Ruin. It's I consider it Security Boys and Ruin as one big game. I don't think of them as separate entities i that's my favorite fnaf game i love uh, the characters and everything about security weeks so i'm looking forward to this i really like the pizza plex setting setting and we got some amazing fan game news so fan cardo has shared additional information on the upcoming steam release of my pop goes on august 4th the launch price is five dollars the game includes 21 achievements with artworks by silver crystal Wad arc and kami Fuma. uh I'll put up the image here. Has been created new music for the title. The game features lore that expands the characters of Bonnie Glade. Spanish translations is available at launch. Final visual bugs or balance issues on launch could be expected. A mobile port is already in development and could be released this year. There are no current plans for DLC or major content updates after the release. So that's a lot of news. I covered in like one minute. So it's gonna be five dollars. So not expensive, which I like. I need to get five dollars so i can actually make a video on this game because i know people are gonna love me playing it i need to play it for you guys uh there was no dlc so don't expect any expansions or anything like that so kind of sad but it's whatever but very cool news for my pop goes releases on august 1st we also got some news about the voice actor that will be playing the cradle in Joy of Coins. The, the demo releases on august 2nd the full game will release next year for 20 dollars so this is poor, that's pretty expensive for a FNAF fan game that's gonna be like in the main thing. $20 is a lot of money for something FNAF related. Even still with Help Wanted, I, nah, Help Wanted is pretty, $40 ain't bad. But $20, that's pretty expensive in my opinion. I wonder how big the game is gonna be then because I don't want people to feel like they're whipped off with like two hours of experience for only $20. But I'm looking forward to this game. Uh, there's no really no trailer just some voices by the new voice actor you can check it out on twitter but twenty dollars very pricey we also got a new teaser for five nights of footies an upcoming funko fusion game revealed at san diego comic con it was also revealed during the panel that helen goff will be voicing Freddy fazbear and foxy the same voice actor as overhaul from my hero academia and diavala from uh from jojo part 5 why did i say persona 5 almost uh, confusing so there's a trailer it doesn't really so much there's gonna be a 40 fazbear level uh voice actor that plays uh fun time buddy and glamrock buddy would be voicing Freddy and uh foxy so yeah cool there's also a jump scale at the end of the trailer which i'm not gonna show because there's not a lot of show but that is it for uh and for the final announcement still World posts a new illustration of casey in an MXES entity celebrating the fourth anniversary of Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Ruin. So it's been a year since Ruin came out, and I can't believe that. I remember playing it and I had a blast with it. I actually beat it. I still haven't beat it in Security Breach, but I actually did beat Ruin and I loved it. It was very scary and very fun. But that was all for the news for this week. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. I make FNAF weekly news videos every Saturday. Sometimes it could change depending if you guys want me to change it because i changed it because johnny blocks i don't want to take his limelight you know he's bigger than me but you know what i mean so yeah i make these videos every week and i highly suggest you guys to subscribe because the fnaf 10th anniversary is almost here and there's going to be some amazing announcements and i'm going to be do trying to do everything that comes out that week so and covering it so please subscribe and i'll see you guys later